born for this. You were literally born for this. The person you are right now is as a result of your history. That's why I can boldly say that you are your brand. A personal brand is not built on aesthetics, logos, or websites alone. A personal brand is built on four pillars, identity, purpose, power, enough. The person that we, cre that we create is intertwined in the human experience. You are a living brand built from the inside out. I've experienced many firsts in my lifetime. I'm the first of three children, the first to graduate from college in my family, the first to earn three degrees. I, I've earned a bachelor's in business, a master's in education, and a master's in educational leadership. You may ask Felicia, why is this so important to know? Coming and growing up as a young girl on the west side of Chicago, it never even entered my mind what I would not be. That's because of the way I was raised by my parents, Fred and Ruthie Shakespeare. See, I grew up in a not so promising part of the city. I actually grew up in a blue collar community. I actually also went to one of the most underperforming schools in the city that would eventually close. But the beauty of it is that never even entered my mind based on the conducive learning environment and also the support that I see at home, both from my teachers and my parents. The seed had been planted in me and I had the vision, I'm going to college. And, and in, as a result of that, no one could change that thought in me. I was determined that I would reach that goal in my lifetime. Speaking of identity, Oxford defines identity as the fact or result of being who or what someone is. I say many people, unfortunately, lose their identity in life. Sometimes when they grow on to have a career and their jobs, they forget who they are. It's important to know that you have to know who you are. Also, sometimes people tend to pour that, their identity into their families and into their children. And as a result, they don't know who they are. What I would say is your identity starts at a very young age and all of the impressions that are left on you are starting at that time. And that's when all of the impressions were made on me to form my identity. Speaking of identity and impact, no one told me the truth. Like the day I ran into a brick wall named Doreen Dukes. Doreen was the vice president at the bank where I worked. If you were sitting next to me at the drive up window in my first banking job, you would have heard me that day pick up the phone and say, Plaza. But Doreen was on the other end of the line and she gave me the scolding of my life. Doreen said, you don't answer the phone like that. You should answer the phone. Hello, my name is Felicia Shakespeare. And how may I assist you? At that moment, I realized what a brand really was. I realized that I was not only representing the bank, I was also representing myself. Purpose. Purpose is the thing that no one can do in the way that you can do it. Purpose is your reason. Purpose is your why. You won't know your brand if you don't know your purpose. Purpose is the thing that no one will be able to do in the way that you can do it. I think of my dad and purpose. My dad, at the age of 17 years old, lost his father. He was just shy of his high school graduation. At that moment, my dad decided he was gonna take care of his mom. Also at that moment, my dad instantly became the father to his six younger siblings. At that time, it was expected that the oldest son would take over, and that was actually the way that my dad was raised. He went and got a job once he left high school because he wanted to put family first. When I also think of my mom, who also had 
a very untimely loss of her dad at a, at a young age. My mom actually lost her dad at the age of 10 years old. Uh, my mom was a daddy's girl as well. And at that time, she made a decision to move to Chicago to be raised by her third oldest sister. When I think of my grandparents, particularly my grandmothers, they were from two totally different ecosystems. One from the city of Chicago, one from the deep south, but they both had the same experience of not knowing how they would raise to be able to raise their children alone. And as a result of that, and as I also think about my mom, when she moved in to live with her older sister, she actually helped raise her nieces and nephews between the age of 12 and 17 years old. So when I think of self-determination and resilience, I think of my parents. I truly believe if my parents had not made the sacrifices that they had made as youth and also the sacrifices that, that they made as we became adults, I would not be who I am today. So because they chose to walk into their purpose, I was able to walk into mine and be who I am right now. Power. Power represents the innate ability that you have inside of you. Power is your personal definition for success. I like to describe power sometimes as a thing you might not know that you got it, but it's right where it's supposed to be when you need it. Another way I describe power is the spirit of God at work in you. Enough. Enough in another context lets you know that you have what it takes. There is no one in this world that can do what you were intended to do in the way that you will be able to do it. I think of my time in corporate America and the times where I was the only one. If you would have walked into the place of work that I had worked in, my place of work, you would have noticed that there was no one else there that looked like me. But I decided, and I'll never forget the day, that I had an epiphany after so much time working in corporate America and being the only one and the first, that no one else was gonna make me feel small. That I actually had what it took, I literally had an epiphany. That I had what it took, I was chosen to be in this job. I was qualified, I was supposed to be there. And then when I made a pivot from corporate America to education, I'll never forget the day that I realized again, I was the only one in the building that looked like me. And again, I realized that I had what it took. Identity, purpose, power, enough. Everything that I talked about today are intangible and being built from the inside out. So what I wanna tell you is that you have what it takes to be you. When you know your purpose, you can live in your brand freely. You have what is needed, you have what is required, and you have what it takes. You are your brand. Thank you. <laughs>